Hi, my name is Ian Thomas. I'm the uh, State and Local Program Director with America Walks and also a member of the City Council in uh, my hometown of Columbia, Missouri. Back in about 2014, when I was very new on the Council, uh, we had a spate of pedestrian-involved crashes. Over a short period of time, uh, four people were killed, five or six others were seriously injured, and uh, I spoke to the mayor uh, as this was happening and, and suggested that we really needed to take some action. Um, uh, he agreed. He set up uh, the mayor's task force on pedestrian safety, made me one of the co-chairs with another council member, and we assembled a diverse group of stakeholders um, to study the crashes that happened and to make recommendations to the council on how to prevent them in the future. Uh, on the task force were uh, representatives from the university, both the administration and the student body, the school district, um, the State Department of Transportation, uh, as well as neighborhood um, representatives, uh, health professionals, including an emergency room doctor who uh, often has to uh, deal with the uh, broken bodies that come in after some of the terrible car crashes, uh, social service organizations, and uh, our Bicycle Pedestrian Advocacy Organization, PedNet. Um, the group met for a little less than a year, uh, and early in that period, news was coming out of New York City uh, about a new approach to traffic safety, Vision Zero. The idea that we set a goal, a time in the future, by which to eliminate traffic deaths and serious injuries. And then we have to develop the strategies to make that happen. Um, this was adopted in New York City uh, in about 2014 and uh, had early success. Uh, San Francisco, Seattle, and a lot of other communities followed suit. And as our task force uh, was starting to study the crashes that happened and think about the kind of recommendations we want to make, everyone agreed very quickly that our number one recommendation was going to be that Columbia, Missouri should adopt a Vision Zero policy. Um, by the end of the uh, task force's uh, uh, period of study, um, that uh, uh, report and set of recommendations were delivered to the full council. The first recommendation was adopt a Vision Zero policy and set a goal of eliminating traffic deaths and serious injuries in Colombia by 2030. Um, at that time, uh, we studied the previous several years. There were somewhere between 6 and 10 deaths every year, somewhere between 50 and 80 serious injuries, and those are those are life-changing injuries. Those are, are brain damage, uh, lost limbs, and so on. Something you never recover from, even though you may survive it. Um, 50 to 80 of those every year and 6 to 10 deaths. So the policy would uh, require the engineers, the law enforcement personnel, uh, communications uh, staff, to develop a um, cohesive strategy that would bring those deaths and serious injuries down to zero by 2030. Um, after the, um, the, the report, uh, uh, which consisted of that recommendation and then a series of other recommendations that uh, would be specific strategies as part of the Vision Zero policy, um, when that was uh, delivered, the whole council was impressed. Uh, we went ahead within just six months and adopted that Vision Zero policy. We were, the, by that point, the 22nd city in the United States to do so, and um, the staff then spent the next six months developing a, uh, an implementation plan to get it done and drawing from a lot of those recommendations. The um, implementation plan is organized into three sections, and this is traditional within Vision Zero and a lot of other similar approaches, um, education, engineering, and enforcement. So um, education, clearly uh, important to... Um, uh, educate the public about the importance of careful driving, as well as uh, pedestrian and bicycle safety. Um, engineering is really where the uh, uh, most effective work happens. Um, so many streets and roads in Colombia and all over the country have been designed for much higher speeds than we really want in cities, where we have a lot of uh, driveways and intersections and pedestrians and cyclists and children and old people and people with disabilities. 
traffic needs to be going slower in those conditions than the roads have been designed for. So they have to be redesigned. Uh, forms of traffic calming, they might be um, speed humps or road narrowings in residential areas, uh, roundabouts, uh, centralized medians, pedestrian bump outs and protected bike lanes uh, on, the, uh, on the larger roads. But all of this can be done. Um, so the engineering strategy is doing road safety audits to look at those improvements, particularly in the locations where we've had the most crashes, which not surprisingly is on those uh, high speed roads, many of which are actually owned by the state. Uh, and that's why it was important that we had a state DOT representative on the task force who's, who was part of this process. And then enforcement uh, involves police uh, enforcing uh, speed limits and other safe driving laws, uh, as well as the uh, forensic examinations they do after crashes to understand what caused them. Um, we were very careful with our law enforcement um, strategies to emphasize that this will be entirely equitable, that this is not a, um, uh, uh, a way to um, authorize um, unregulated police stops of minority drivers. That's a whole separate um, equity issue that uh, Columbia and other communities are struggling with. So there were a lot of strong statements that... Um, that, that this would be done equitably, and also the fact that most, or not most, but a, uh, a disproportionate number of the traffic crashes we're talking about do happen in low-income and minority neighborhoods. Um, so the plan was very good. It was a, a detailed strategic plan for the first three years, uh, 2017 to 2020. Um, that, that is underway now. Road safety audits are happening. There's a big educational uh, campaign rolling out, a website that shows uh, where the crashes have happened over the last 10 years so people can really see. And in the area of law enforcement, one thing that we did do was we adopted a, um, a, a new ordinance uh, that around uh, distracted driving so that texting while driving and phone use while driving would be illegal within the city limits of Columbia. Um, the strategy is in effect. Um, we have not yet seen a reduction, or at least not a trend, in uh, the number of deaths and serious injuries. But I feel very confident that we're on the way. I think the most encouraging thing is the way that our uh, traffic engineers and transportation planners are talking about their work now. Safety is the most important factor. They use terms like uh, looking at this through a vision zero lens. They are focused now on uh, eliminating these deadly crashes. And that's different from before when the primary focus was moving vehicles as fast as possible from one place to another. So I encourage you to take a good look at Vision Zero as a strategy for traffic safety and uh, expanding walking and biking in your communities as they become safer.